Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show, Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at Cursed Castilla EX. It just released on October 20th, 2016, ladies and gentlemen, and it's by Loca Melito and Grizor87, also by Abbey Light Studios. So there you have it, guys and gals. Now, I want to showcase something before we hop in and get started and play around for a little while. There are a lot of video mode options here. They're not your traditional set the screen resolution and so on and so forth. So we start with basically this, which has the scan lines and all that stuff, kind of giving it an old school feel because this is a throwback to games like Super Ghouls and Goblins. If you guys remember back in, the, wow, way, way back in the day, I'm probably dating myself here a little bit. We have video mode two, which is probably pretty cool. Video mode three, which gives you kind of the side monitors, insert the coin, kind of an arcadey feel. And, uh, yeah, it's got the traditional, well, it's got the classic scan lines and all that sort of uh, stuff there. Then you have the sharper version of that. And then you have the stretched scan line version. You have the slightly sharper scan line version. Then I'm not sure what exactly this does. This seems like this might be pretty cool. And I'm going to not go with that. I like this one. This is my personal favorite. But I'm always about clarity and awesomeness, personally, so makes it a little bit rough for me to really say which, well, which one's the best, because I don't know. Well, we're going to go with 8. That's the one I like, but as you guys can see, there's actually quite a few different ones. I am using a controller. We can look at, um, no, I want to back out of this. No. Anyway, uh, you can look at the controller and keyboard setup if you want. I mean, there's options there. Anyhow, I've played around with this for a little while. It's just as hard as the old school games were. So, prepare for me to die a lot, because I haven't played an arcade game like this in a very, very long period of time. So enjoy. Don Ramiro, Cuesta Boss, Don Diego, and Mendenza, head for Zolomira and put an end to this nightmare. Sorry guys, I'm probably butchering everything. Yes, my king! It's hard to read that font, I'm not gonna lie. We'll be okay. Alright, so chapter one, uh, Zolomira, Del Rey. We're off to see the wizard now. Oh no, we fell off, but we have thunderstorms! Alright, so basically, guys and gals, you can move around if you have a controller with the left analog stick. You can also move around with the W... I think it was... W-A-S-N-D? Maybe it was the arrow keys. I think I only use the controller for this, so I can't really tell you guys. I know my time is ticking down, but I'd like to go over. You have the ability to jump, you also have the ability to throw things, and that seems to be it. There may be special things you can do later on. But for now, that's basically it. Alright, so there's zombies and things that are going to be spawning, and you're going to have to deal with them. And of course, try to get some extra stuff going on. You can crouch, you can jump. It's It starts off easy enough, but definitely gets a lot more tricky as you go on. Uh, I gotta say, I've already died several times. I got to a spot where I could not get past where I was, so we'll see how that all plays out. And unfortunately... Ah... Unfortunately, I could not uh, land that, and you can't shoot downward, so you cannot throw your weapons to uh, the downside of life. You have to stay up on the high ground, so to speak. Alright, there we go. We landed all that, and I have a hand axe. I guess I can throw down now. Surprise! I guess the blue uh, head things went away. There's no dashing or running or anything of that nature, and now we have an arc that we have to be aware of when we go to throw and attack with our weapon. Not necessarily a bad thing, and there is our first semi-boss type fight. I mean, it's obviously not super challenging what with uh, how this works, but it's not really a boss. It's just kind of like a, a checkpoint fight. It's like, can you dodge out of the way of fireballs? Yes, I can. Sometimes. Not always. Alright, so we did that first little bit without me getting hit, which is a miracle in and of itself. We're gonna have zombies coming out. Nope. And as you see, they do not like to wait for you to pass by. They just want to eat your soul. All right, killed him. I'm gonna murder that guy. Oh, there's bats or birds or something. I'm not sure what they are. Fire birdie bats. Birdie bats. Those are things, right? No, don't hurt. Oh, that was it. Oh. All right. See if my, my timing's there. We go. All right. We have a shield. I don't know how to use the shield or what it does for us. Maybe it absorbs like one extra hit. I I don't know. I I've I've used all my buttons and I can't figure out 
how to select it, if that's a thing that we can do. Oh god! There's a handless warrior! Oh, there it is. Oh, there we go, we figured it out. It is indeed a extra thing. So you, you go through the shield before you take ow health damage. Bad Bumpy is bad, I'm not gonna lie. I am not great at these games, guys and gals. And also, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, or Ghouls and Ghosts, or Goblins, or whatever you want to call it, uh, was an exceptionally hard game. One of the hardest games ever made from, well, if I... If old school things were made to be believed. Oh, I should not have done that. No, I want the coins. No, I failed myself! Yeah, yeah, there we go. Nailed it! Sort of, barely. We barely nailed it. Alright, and we're up against a knight that is going to do something. I don't know exactly what it is that he's going to do. I guess just shoot fire on the go. Uh -oh. And we just died, because I'm bad at jumping over things. So, not great, and now we have our sword as opposed to our... our axes of doom. Not work very well. What? How did I get hit? Did I get hit because the sword was out? Is that what happened? That's not great. Alright, well we got through it, and I now have a, a fairy flower thing. I don't know. Oh. She attacks too, cool. No idea what that does. Well, I didn't. Alright, so I made it a little bit beyond this point, but not a whole lot past here. Honestly. I kind of started getting wrecked. It wasn't great. It wasn't ideal. I'm gonna try to make it to this because it's a little bit more extra time, I guess. I think we can. Oh, I thought we could keep interrupting them because it does look like you interrupt it when you attack. So as you guys can see, I'm not very good at this game. So that's why this is not gonna end up being a full let's play. Now, for those of you that are hardcore enough to actually survive this and be even remotely decent at it, I would 100% suggest you giving this game a shot because. It's quite good, and definitely an old-school feel. You guys should be brought back to, I don't want to say, like, maybe the, the late 80s, early 90s, somewhere in that range. I will never make it. I think there's something, yeah, so I think there's one of those gas coming from over here. Alright. And what does that do? Hey, an extra life, cool. And we got bolas. What does that do? Oh, that's interesting. Oh gosh. Oh, I hope it's strong enough. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We got to do that. Oh, there's an ugly worm thing. Oh, there's multiple ugly worm things. I want to eat my soul. And possibly my shoes. Oh gosh, what is that? Ah! Ah! No, I want to live! Yeah, go ahead, lower your shield, buddy. <laughs> Fool. Alright. Hey, we got some food that we totally didn't need in any way, shape, or form. Oh! 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 The old man reflex is working out. Who knew? Alright, cool. So now, what? We fight one of these... That, that worm guy? Is that... Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks like we have to avoid fire coming down onto us. Totally simplistic enough, right? Not really? Yeah, I agree. Alright, doesn't matter. We're gonna take him on. Oh good, now he's, he's hatching babies. Because he's clearly a mother. A mother ugly worm. Oh no! No! I don't want to die! Okay. Oh, we're still alive. We're hanging in there. I haven't hit him in a while, though. It's a little worrisome. Just gotta hit him four more times. Oop. Dang it. Did not dodge that fire very well, nor that one. And I did it! I'm a hero, ladies and gentlemen! Worship me! Alright, you don't have to worship me, but still. Pretty cool, we survived. For God and Castilla! Cool. 
Yeah, I was a little worried that I wouldn't even be able to make it out of the first level, so pretty cool. Road of the Harpies. Now, I did bad on this, too. I actually made it through the first level. I got here, and this is where I got stuck, so we'll, we'll attempt to be less terrible. Essentially, we're on this cart, and we have to not get killed by harpies and other various things that want to eat our faces. So there's that. Uh, the other guys do help out with attacking. So in reality, theoretically, it shouldn't be too difficult, but bad bumpy is bad, as you guys know. And don't worry, there's going to be more things coming other than just the harpies. Yes, like these guys that drop fire. And it hurts. And it does bad, bad things to very many, many people. Okay, but for now, we'll continue the harpy murder. And then you can't fall off of this either. If you fall off, you die. It's not great. It's obviously something you would like to avoid, if at all possible. Hey, I did it! I got past that wave. I never did that before. Woohoo! Ooh. Gotta make sure we land that. Ah, food. I don't think we got hit yet, but... Cool. Oh, gosh. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen now. I'm sure it's gonna mess everything up. It'll be 30,000 times worse. Like I said, folks, if you want a difficult, difficult, challenging, old-school, classic retro... Oh, God! There's a giant bird of doom! What the... Uh... No? It's a two-headed... Oh, how are you supposed to deal with that? Oh, God! Like, how do you... I, 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 uh... Oh, do I have to start over at the beginning? Oh, no. Oh, please don't tell me. Yep, all the way at the beginning. So, here you go, guys and gals. Welcome to old school gaming at its finest. I don't know what you're supposed to do against that bird. And unfortunately, we only have one more life to figure it out. So again, this may be a little bit of a shorter first look due to the fact that <laughs> it's pretty difficult and Bad Bumpy is bad, but again, still fun and definitely showcases what the game is all about and what you can do once you can handle it. So, like I said, I'm a fan of this. I just wish I was better at games like this. And it's been so long, so I mean, it's not like I could even be like, oh yeah, I got this. Oh, I'm really well versed to practice things. Nope. It's been years since I've played anything even remotely close to this. Okay, we survived that again. Pretty good. Oh good, the health chest thing. Thank you, I will take that food. And so will Gunter. No, I had, oh! I don't know what his name is. Pretty sure it's not Gunter. Alright, so now we have the Bird of Doom coming again. Maybe I duck it. Maybe that's what I gotta do. I feel like ducking it didn't work, though. Yeah, it's ducking it. Darn it. Okay. Oh. Oh no, what is he gonna do now? Oh no, he hits you. Oh no, I didn't know he did that. No, I didn't move. I ducked instead of walking. Well, we almost got through him. Well, we can use a credit. That's kind of cool. Our score gets reset, but we can continue from there. I'll try it. I think I can beat the guy now. I think I, at least I know you just can duck under his attacks. And then when he is wobbling up and down, you're not immune to whatever he's going to be doing. So, again, lesson learned. And this is, this is kind of how you beat games back in the day. For those of you who are uh, of the younger audience out there, uh, games weren't always as easy with infinite lives and kind of guaranteed defeatations like you were going to be able to win. There used to be a lot of trial and error and a lot of starting over from scratch. There were continues. I don't know if games even really implement continues anymore. I think that's kind of a thing of the past, so it's kind of cool and fun to see. I enjoy it. Alright, so now we have the bats coming. All right, so far so good, no problem. Give me a super weapon. No, nope, it's always gonna be the same. All right, that's cool. All right, a couple more carbies coming. Ooh, I ducked at the right time there. Ooh, almost got knocked off the the cart. 
Quesadilla? No, I know that's not the name. Oh no! Oh, I timed it wrong. Buddy. No! No! Oh! Oh, the big man Olaf himself managed to survive. He's the one who did that. Oh no! I don't know how many uh, hits it took to get through a heart, but apparently it was more than one. We will meet in the forest! Oh god, what is that? Do I want to know? Oh. Oh, lovely harpy egg things. Oh good. So that's what we needed. In case you were slightly- oh, of course. In case you were slightly concerned with things. Yes, we will meet in the forest, as I said. Alright, well, at least we know now. That the harpies will continue to come from all angles. Oh, dang it. Darn it! I am bad at landing things like I should. Serious? No! Oh gosh! Oh! 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 Yay for temporary invulnerability! Unfortunate. Alright, I can see this going very poorly for us in general. Just so you guys know. Oh gosh! Oh, I got double jump. That's interesting. Does seem to make things a little bit easier. We have holy fire with the Oh Okay. Sure, because why not? We're holding on with one HP right now, that's fine, I guess. Oh, uh, you couldn't have been health. Oh, you know something Oh no, of course they hit you. Why wouldn't they hit you? <laughs> uh I can't believe I got lu oh. I said I can't believe I got lucky the first time. That was crazy. Alright, so we have a broken one every other. Or, oh, and I still get hit by it. Gosh, I'm not surprised. I mean, don't get me wrong. I wish I was surprised, but... Nope! Well done. Well done, my little fairy princess. Oh, gosh. Oh man, Woo! this is definitely bringing back some memories. Not bad memories at all, guys and gals. Scary memories though, to be sure. Oh gosh, oh no, oh no, oh. Okay, we're alive. Oh, but for how long? Oh, oh. No. I don't wanna die. Oh, there's food over there, it's taunting me. Oh, I got the food, I'm a hero. Continue on. Oh my gosh. Oh no, what's this? Hey, 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 hey. Uh, Gravity is my friend. Oh jeez. Man, like I said, gravity is my friend. That's not true. Gravity is most assuredly not my friend. Alright, we'll try one more continue, guys and gals. And then once this series of lives goes away, we will uh, break it off. Sweet, at least we made it to the boss fight. We just get to fight it. We don't have to go through the full level again. Not that I gotta say that that level was exceptionally difficult, mind you. Um. Uh, what, what, what? Oh, oh, okay. Um. You are not a friendly person. My face does not appreciate getting owned. Oh no, oh no, oh, the timing. Oh, 
Oh, that's just not nice. All right, well, we did okay. We didn't do great. Kind of wish I didn't die the first time around because we had that extra help from the fairy princess. That would have been a nice uh, little bonus there. Oh, darn it. Oh, and we fell. Oh, no. All right, new plan. We're getting through this boss. That's when we're ending it. So if it's another 75 uh, episodes or 75 uh, lives, I should say, it's all going to be this one episode, but we're going to go for the boss fight victory. All right. Well, we got through that. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Nope. Stop throwing those things. They're not friendly. No, darn it. Bad Bumby is bad. No. Still, not too bad. All right, folks. Well, I am definitely going to cut it down. There's going to be several, several losses you're not going to see. Not because I'm trying to be MLG gaming here or ML gaming, major league gaming, gaming. It's fine. But mostly because I don't want you guys to die of an aneurysm watching me fail so many times in a row. I mean, I'm pretty good at failing. Like, I won't say I made a career of failing, because that's not true, but I've definitely had my fair share of failing. <laughs> Alright. Start laying in the attacks once again. Go down, old man. Go down. I did it! I killed your old... Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 Oh, I says killed your old wrinkly booty. For God and Castilla and for people better than me at this type of game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this first look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully you have some idea what the game has to offer. If you like old school, really, 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 really tough games, this is definitely going to be it. Oh, there's a bonus stage. We'll play through that and then... Oh, God. Am I supposed to hit you? So, just give me money. Well, I got some money out of it. All right, folks, sorry about that. With all the craziness and chaos with the uh, bonus level, I kind of butchered my ending or my outro, as it were. So, I decided to redo it right now. So, you guys have a rough idea of what Cursed Custia EX has to offer. Hopefully, you guys make a good choice to grab the game if you're into these hardcore old school platformer. Definitely, uh, it's a retro feel and it's quite good. I. I really like the game, I just wish I was better at it, so it wouldn't be so painful for you guys to watch. Anyhow, all that being said, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developers, the publishers, or any of that wonderful fun stuff will be down below in the description of the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share it, and I will see you guys in the very next first look. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>